piracy in this film by Disney and Jerry Bruckheimer is displayed in a comical and entertaining light. But was it really this way in the real 18th century? Google it. But if you're too lazy to do that, I, Gart, will tell you. The theme for this year's history affair is revolution, reaction, and reform. But before you understand how my topic relates to the theme, I must inform you about the average life on a pirate ship. Yo ho ho, mateys, this here land in a cheap costume don't know a thing about living under the Jolly Roger like me. For I am the great captain Andrew Stinglestein. See, the first thing about living on the pirate ship is that you ought to kill out as much loot as possible without getting caught. Then, strangely enough, aboard a pirate ship there was democracy, as they would elect their captains. Upon joining the crew, pirates were to obey the pirate rules, the articles. Included in this set of rules was a common article. Each pirate must have a semi-equal share of any stolen booty. This, exceptions to this rule were the captain and various other members of the crew, like the quartermaster, who got a fraction more jewels than the common folk. Arr, that be true, but I have some knowledge that's much better than this here's morsels mumble jumble. See, I've rode on many a ships, and they're all different. When I was a young lad, I rode on a sloop known as the Pathetic Barnacle. I abandoned the ship after a mutiny happened. See, I didn't want to get caught. Ah, here we go. This is a perfect example of how our topic relates to the theme. Mutiny. The mutineers took over a pirate ship if they didn't like how the ship was run, or the captain just wasn't a jolly guy. It's a clear revolution. Another occurrence of mutiny was by the captain dubbed Long Ben, also known as Henry Avery. He mutinied against Commander Captain Gibson aboard the Duke. Avery put the captain ashore and sailed the renamed ship Charles II. Shiver me timbers, you know a bounty. Well, so do I. After I escaped the pathetic barnacle, I went headed in my lawn board toward the New England. Then I hitched a ride with the one and only Captain Kidd. Did you know that William Kidd... Captain! ...was a privateer for the King of England? He and his crew didn't find any pirate ships along the African coast. So instead of hunting down pirates, he became one. We was then scandaled by the devilish Earl of Bellamont, and his captain handed over those legal document pages he could have used to prove he wasn't guilty of nothing he wasn't supposed to do. That's extraordinary! It also displays... One good thing did come out of this, though. What might that be? I learned a ballad called The Ballad of Captain Kidd. Well, shall I sing? No, thank you. My I'm... name was Robert Kidd as I sailed, as I sailed. My name was Robert Kidd as I sailed. It's really okay. My name was Robert Kidd, God's Lord, it forbid so wickedly I did when I sailed. Wonderful.